Hello everyone, this is Denise with Something Beautiful Handcrafts and today is Makers Monday. Or at least we're hoping that's when a video will get posted. You never know. Okay, so I have the Merino that is for sale in my Etsy shop. And I am going to do a little blending with it today. It's up here on top of my sewing table which is not exactly the most stable place for it to be. So we're gonna try to see if we can make this work. Now, the Merino is very, very blue. Like very, very, very blue. Hey, and I like blue. It's one of my favorite colors. Actually, I think blue is my favorite color. This is pretty bright, so I'm gonna to try to tone it down a little bit. It's electric blue. If you have bought any of the Merino that is in my Etsy shop. It kind of comes to you as a ball. Or if you've seen the video that I posted a little while ago, just kind of a ball of fiber. That doesn't look like very much, uh, but it's really, really nice. Let's see if I can pull out a relative staple length. It, the staple length is, there's some that's maybe an inch and a half, which is not my favorite thing, but most of it is between two, two and a half inches, which is very nice, very workable, especially if you card it and it cards up into these nice roll eggs or two nice bats, depending how you feel about it. So it's good stuff. I want to say that it was 22 micron count. It's really good stuff. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to blend it with some alpaca fiber. And this fiber is local from Vintage Alpacas here in Cleveland, friend Kim. And I want to see if you can, I'm not really sure how well that's going to zoom in, but if you can see the crimp at all, because there are people who will tell you alpaca has no crimp. They're still saying that. I'm, I'm not really sure why people are still saying that. I guess at one point in time, it may have been true. It was true that alpaca has no crimp. Didn't have any crimp. Uh, the same thing has been said about Angora, which is so totally untrue. If you are buying alpaca and it's not Surrey and it has little to no crimp, you probably want to find a different supplier like any fiber you want to find someone who knows their fiber who didn't just buy alpacas because it was the thing and just raise them and thinking they can sell any fiber you need to find someone who actually knows their fiber uh, Kim used to be a show breeder which we all know they're judged on their fiber so she's got a pretty good idea I'd say as to what is good quality fiber you really want to it should have some crimp. It should have good crimp. You can raise them with good crimp. Okay, so anyway, I, you know, I always go on these tangents about these um, things that people say about fibers because I know they're not true and they may have been true in the past, but they're not true anymore. So this particular coat was a rose gray, I think. And uh, this looks short right here, but this is not the prime of the coat. The prime of the coat, for the most part, I have already used. And so it was a little longer than that. But like I said, because this has decent crimp, I don't have any problem at all. You know you know how I like to have a longer staple. But it has really nice crimp, so I don't have any problem. And generally, I just take it and spin it right from the tip straight across. It's beautiful to spin like that. Look at that. Oh man, I wish I could remember what the name of this one was. I think his name was actually Silverton. I love this fleece. Okay, so I want to add a little gray to it. A little rose gray. And tone down the color. I'm just removing a little uh, VM. This is washed. There's very little VM in that. Just some twigs. Okay, so just in case you didn't know, this is my brother, Drum Carter. It has 90 
on the liquor and 120 on the drum teeth per inch so this is my fine carter okay that is looking good or I should say feeling good it's going in nicely I am going to spread out the fiber which you should do I like the way that looks already. Okay, I didn't want to talk over top of the quarter. Not really sure how well you'd be able to hear me, but um, I've been posting a lot more doll videos because I've been doing a lot more doll work because I am going to make a beginning spinning video for Curious Mondo coming up for the Fiber Symposium in June and I'm writing an article for Ply Magazine so uh, the spinning projects I had meant to have started you know spinning the video series four are kind of on the back burner and then we had the crank in last Saturday and of course it was the Holy Week. So I just really have not had too much time to plan another spin video. I mean, I could just take videos of me spinning, but you know how I like to kind of have a lesson or a theme or something to talk about when I'm spinning. And I just, I haven't had that kind of, um, uh, I don't want to say inspiration, but maybe I do want to say inspiration. My creative focuses for spinning are somewhere else. And so I didn't want to just, you know, have a me spinning video. I really wanted to have something, you know, some kind of point to it. And I know, I think... Someone said they, they like the videos where people are just spinning and music is playing. Uh, those kind of aren't really my videos because I do a lot of video watching when I'm doing something else. So I may not necessarily be looking at the screen or if I'm watching a tutorial, I am completing it as the person is talking. So I much prefer to talk through my videos just in case you are just listening or in case you are trying to do whatever I'm doing in the video. And so you need to hear the verbal instructions. So I'm just, I haven't really gotten to the point where I'm just a, uh, put the, put the music on and watch the video kind of person yet. Though I got to tell you, I am having a hard time cranking this thing and talking to you at the same time. Kind of, I'm so used to working without anybody else in the room that trying to remember to talk out loud while I'm doing something is still a little hard. Okay, just fluffing this out, that particular spot, well, this particular group I grabbed in my hand just needed a little more fluffing out than the other ones did. Some of it, oh, I, you know what, I should say that all of it because I was there when this fleece was shorn and, uh, I mean, I've had this fleece for a while. So I can tell you that, uh, for the most part, all of the fleece came out in, in those, uh, I, I want to call them locks or it's just really nice. It's just nice fleece. So anything that's jumbled has to do with the way I washed it or the way I handle it as it was drying or after it was drying. And I remember going out into uh, the rain and grabbing this fleece off of the rack to keep it from getting soaked again. Then I grabbed it up and took it to the only place I could, which was the garage. 
and there's not a lot of room as there isn't in most people's garages. And it's been in there all winter. Okay, so that is starting to look mighty gray and nicely toned down. And I'm saying more VM. You know, it. this really, I gotta say, doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter if I'm using it myself. Uh, if I'm selling these bats, I kinda like to do this anyway. But this is the kind of VM that is just going to fall out as you spin. So it's not really necessary for me to pick through this, but it's just kind of a thing. Uh, and don't fault me for this. I can't find my all. It's here in the room with me, but I've been shuffling stuff around on that table and I'm not really sure where I put it. And then I went looking for the knitting needles and I'm like, where did those guys go? So this is all I could find. I didn't bother to check before I turned the video on. Now, there are people who discard what's on the liquor, and if I was just doing raw wool, I would. But this wool has already been uh, processed once, and so there's no reason for me not to put it back on. Okay, I'm going to add a little more gray. And then I'm going to pull this off just so you can see. This doesn't have to be a really long uh, video. I'm not going to pack the drum. I just want you to be able to see what this looks like. I thought about putting a little bit of Firestar or Angelina, whichever it is that I have. I actually think I have a little bit of both. But as usual, I did finally locate it. And now I can't find it again. And once this stuff arrived last month that was pretty much the room is stuffed so i have to go looking again for it i really like how it's toning down that blue Here it is off of the drum carter. Kind of reminds me of ocean waves. And contrary to my usual, I find myself thinking, hmm, what would this look like with a little sparkle? I don't know. We'll see. I am going to test spin this for you all so you can see what it looks spun up. But that will be a second video. For now, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. I've almost reached a thousand. If you're watching and you're not a subscriber, it would help me greatly if you would press that subscribe button, uh, click the like, and don't forget to press the notification bell. Hope I put that all in the right order. Have a great day.